I love snacks and food in general, really, perhaps slightly more than the average person. There's so many fun and delicious treats out there and few more fun than something that's convenient to eat while walking around and partaking in activities. So on this day, March 28th, we celebrate National Something on a Stick Day. Welcome to Taco Cast Podcast. Every day's a holiday. No, really, it is. Did you know that literally every day is a holiday? I don't know about you, but I love having a reason to celebrate every day. Whether it's your favorite foods day or something else totally random, happy holiday to you. Perhaps part of the novelty of eating something on a stick is that it harkens back to our caveman days. Hunting with spears, roasting over a fire, and consuming it all from the same piece of sharpened wood. And we have proof from archaeological sites that humans have been cooking meat over a fire for 300,000 years, the Paleolithic era. While it's certainly transformed, it can be hard to put a finger on just why it's so much fun. Could it be that it allows you to keep one hand free for activities? Cuts down on cleanup? Feels like summer? Whatever your reason, there's something on a stick for everyone. Kebabs, shawarma, teriyaki, hot dogs, corn dogs, popsicles, marshmallows, caramel apples, lollipops, fondue. Heck, you can put anything on a stick if you really wanted to. We know we've been doing the whole meat on a stick thing for hundreds of thousands of years. With mentions of meat skewers in Homer's Iliad, here are a few more things on a stick moments in history. In the 1860s, food vendors in Japan begin selling yakitori, teriyaki chicken on a skewer right from their charcoal pit. In 1905 in San Francisco, a soda mix gets left outside overnight with the stir and all, realizing the next day that it could be licked off frozen, as is, and thus the popsicle accidentally invented. In 1927, Stanley Jenkins applies for a patent for a machine that combined hot dogs and cornmeal batter fried into it for the marvel known as the corn dog. In 1946, the Cozy Dog Drive-In in Springfield, Illinois, claims to be the first to serve the corn dog on a stick. So on this something on a stick day, I urge you to eat your favorite something or some things on a stick. I've already given you a rundown of a popular list, so if you didn't hear one you liked, make your own stick version to treat. You can make your own healthy pops with fruit and Greek yogurt. You can design your own kebabs with veggies and protein. It's endless, really. An additional tip, if you use chopsticks, anything can be on a stick. Happy holiday, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.